I'm not very good at this. Sorry, Corey. There's a loo. Also some storage space above and a basin and a shower, which we've actually never used. And there's a hatch here as well, as well as a window. I'll show you on the outside how you get the loo sorted out. Then there's a bed with a ladder up top, also another hatch. Um, we used it when our boys were young, but now we use it for storage, which is actually very handy for all our bedding. More cupboards, more cupboards with glasses. Um, that's the driver's cab. Um, seats with covers. They've got covers on the back for map books and everything. And all important wine storage. And then that's the handle for the awning. The Fiamma awning on the outside of the vehicle which cranks out very easily and I'll just show you that's your storage hatch which goes right through to the other side you've got chairs and tables your lead a ground sheet um, ten pegs for holding the awning down we always peg it down at night and then just to walk around the outside that's the body. As I said, there is a little bit of rust on the... I'm in the light here, but there's some, a bit of swat of rust. And there's a bit of rust on the windscreen over here. But otherwise, the body is reasonably good condition. That's walking around the front. I'll show you the tires. The tires are pretty good, but the spare tire needs replacing. That came out when we did the roadworthy. Then as we go around the side, this is your plug-in for your lead when you're at the campsite. That's the hatch to bring the toilet cassette out and empty it. And then this is the hatch on the other side, which goes right through. That's your chairs and tables, fold-up chairs, fold-up tables. And that's your 